Hi guys, Steph here. Now, what we've got for you today is um, another lovely pen. Now, the reason I'm actually doing a review on this particular one, as you can see, it's quite an unassuming pen. It's quite, well, it's quite sort of plain looking, um, which it actually is. Um, the reason I'm actually doing a review on this one is that I've never had this particular make before. Now, the make of this pen is what they call a Dazzy pen. Yes, I hear you say, Dazzy. Who is Dazzy? <laughs> well, the Dazzy pens, um, they were actually made in Australia. And very briefly, um, a gentleman by the name of Alfred Wolf emigrated to Australia. And he literally started making, well, Dazzy pens in his in his shed <laughs> um, so he's literally making these pens in his shed and people were buying them from him um, the Dazzy pens I believe they were making them from I believe around about 1938 straight through to around about 1974 um, as I say they were made by a gentleman by the name of Alfred Wolf now an interesting little factor I believe the well when you actually make pens from the shed obviously he became quite successful then they then actually opened a shop in australia and i believe it was in sydney australia and i believe um not in the same place but the the shop that they opened by the name of well nice and simply the pen shop is actually still in business today and I believe the pen shop is run by still it's still actually run by the Wolf family I believe a Mr Charles Wolf um, actually you know runs the shop so again very briefly the Dazzy pens made in Australia between 1938-1974 they made them in all different kinds of colours and materials obviously the earlier 1930 ones were uh, again sort of slightly different this particular pen is the Dazzy pen and it's actually the what they term as their shorthand pen and I believe this model was uh, made around about the 1960s now, well, the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, um, it's around about 134 millimeters capped. Around the the sort of diameter of the barrel, it's around about 11 millimeters in diameter. And this particular one comes in this lovely sort of burgundy color. And as you can see, it's got this sort of metal or chromized. Uh, cap to the very top there and you can see again a very plain sort of clip to the very top there and this sort of indented cap stud to the very top there and if I show you the barrel imprint there we go so I'll just give it a little bit of a twirl so you can actually see and as you can see it just simply says Dazzy Dazzy Pen Okay, there's no, it doesn't actually say made in Australia, but yeah, you can rest assured, you know, this particular pen is actually made in Australia. So, that's the Dazzy pen. Now, if we unscrew the cap, like so, okay, we'll give you a couple of little, little twirls. Now, these pens, obviously, as you can see, um, I would say they were sort of, you know maybe sort of middle lower tier pens i don't think they were actually top of the range although saying that it's still a nice quality little made pen it's a lovely little pen and the very interesting thing about this pen as well is if you look at to the top of the barrel there that's better you can see it's got this little ink view uh ink view area here so hopefully that'll give you a clue to how we actually fill this pen um it's actually a piston filling pen so basically what we mean by piston filler is we unscrew the sort of the blind cap here now if we do that let's see if we can actually see the piston if you keep an eye on the ink view area there and as i turn as i turn the end of the cap there there you go, you can see the piston going all the way to the top and then if we turn it the other way, there you go, you can see it now sort of goes back down into the barrel. So what we've got for you is a lovely little piston filling pen. Again, 
in my opinion, a lovely little pen. You can see the, the section's got a slight taper to it. And what we've got, obviously, um, for this sort of more of an economical pen, um, is a gold-plated nib to the top there. And what you can see to the nib, it says Dazzy Pen. And then underneath, it's got Shorthand. So let's show you a sideways view. Let's show you the the feed underneath there so we've got a quite um, standard what we term as a, a comb feed underneath but all in all although it's quite an unassuming pen in my opinion it's a lovely lovely pen and again quite unusual as I say I've never had a Dazzy pen before um, and again you know again in my opinion a little bit unusual they're made in Australia so uh, that's quite interesting as well so I suppose you want to see it right so let's put the the ink there and what we do with these pens we dip the ink into sorry we dip the nib into the ink push down on the on the piston and then draw it back out again we'll only do it so far because it's only for um, a writing sample let's give the nib a clean Pop the ink to one side and let's bring on some paper so as you can see there now the ink view well I'm hoping you can see is full of ink so we can see we've got plenty of ink inside there and let's see how the pen writes so what we've got is a dazzy a, oops not a pep <laughs> a dazzy pen and as I said these pens are made in Australia and Dazzy pens as we said a little bit earlier were made from 1938 right through to around about 1974 although this particular shorthand I believe they brought it out in the 1960s this if I put a little bit of pressure on the downward stroke, there's a little bit of variation. So I wouldn't call it a flex nib, but if we do the figures of eights, let's go a bit uh, bigger and longer. There we go. So there's actually just, there's a slight bit of variation in the line. There's a little bit of flex in this nib, so you can get a little bit of variation by putting a little bit of pressure on the nib. But all in all, well, a nice writer. Nothing nothing extraordinary, nothing out of the ordinary, as you would expect with, well, what I would term as an e e economical pen, or maybe it was a, well, not a school pen, as it says in the, in the description, it was a shorthand used in, I would say, in an office environment, etc. But all in all, a lovely pen, interesting manufacturer, as I say, Dazzy Pen, made in Australia, um, interesting that the, well, the, the Wolf family still own the shop, the pen shop in, in Sydney, Australia, they're still going strong, I don't believe they're still making the Dazzy Pens, but looking at the shop looking at the website they're selling all kinds of other pen manufacturers so a pen shop and a, a pen story if you like that is still going strong which is nice to uh, nice to hear so there we have it that's the desi pen i hope you enjoyed what looking at it and watching the video leave a comment below but for now i'll just say bye bye for now